This is the most expensive disc golf course in the world. Located in Hawk Point, Missouri, this slice of disc golf heaven is called Eagles Crossing, and it costs multiple millions to construct. Now that's a lot of moolah. Which makes the green fee of $40 a day a bit more understandable. But is it worth it? That's what we need to find out. Here's the game plan. Shoot even par on the championship course, shoot the course record on the new course, and officially rank Eagles Crossing in the J. Millie rankings. This place is insane. Actually nuts. They have carts for rental, a fully stocked pro shop with discs and food, multiple cabins on site, absolutely gorgeous views, and two championship caliber disc golf courses. The second of which being brand new and never before seen on camera. It's a J Millie exclusive. And since I'm a hotshot disc golf YouTuber now, I got invited to check it all out. But do not fret, I'll give a 100% honest review. I refuse to be bribed. That's why I have to stick to the game plan. First throw. So I said that was my first throw, but it actually wasn't. When we arrived the night prior, we went and played the championship course, but on the pro layout, where the average score is multiple strokes above par. But I quickly realized that shooting par on the pro layout might not be feasible. This is... There's only 330. This only is today. insane. I ended up taking a double bogey on that hole. And then a quadruple bogey on the next. So I went plus nine through nine. Woo! Anyways, shooting even par on the pro layout was just not gonna happen. So, new goal. Shoot even par on the champ course from the white tees. Okay, now you're all caught up. That was a decent shot, and so was my approach. But I knew that if I was gonna shoot even par, that I needed to lock in and get serious. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that was, definitely worked. Because I started birdie, par, then birdie, since I utilized the- Jamie Lee jumper. J Millie jumper, it's elite. And like the absolute pro that I am, I was able to finish the front nine negative one, which is insane compared to the horrible start I had yesterday. Now we're gonna get into the back nine. But I do have bad news. I played absolutely horrible from then on. To top it all off, I did this on hole 16. Threw it right in the middle of the water. That sucked. I've had that Raptor for like two years. Signed by Paul Ulibarri. Hurts, that hurts. Hole 16, the water in front of the green at Eagles Crossing. There's a sick Raptor there. Go find it. Dang, that sucks. That officially ended my run to shoot even on the championship course. And I can say with confidence that the championship course is worth it. But the championship course has been around a while now. And it seems like every YouTuber and pro disc golfer has already come to play. None of them played the brand new Wild Times course. Let's set the course record. Right. First shot on the new Wild Times course. Let's get it. But what's the current course record? Well, I talked to the property owner. And he said that there's no course record, so technically we'll be setting the course record. But that's lame. Let's shoot for even par again. Oof, left myself a tester. If I miss this, I'm just gonna retake this, just so you know. Cut! It was supposed to be a funny joke because I was supposed to make the putt. But just because I'm shooting for par, doesn't mean that I don't wanna shoot even better than that. What was the skip? All right, for birdie. Dude, the putt is off right now. From what I've heard, this course Dang is much it. easier than the championship course. So I think I could shoot a few under. Dude, no leaves and that goes in. Now, my performance through three holes wasn't great, but that's also what I thought about Wild Times so far. It was good, not great. And I wasn't sure if Wild Times was going to be worth it. However, that was about to change because we reached the first par four of the day. And I'm a sucker for par fours. All right, let's please get a birdie, please, please, please. Uh, I can't hit my line. All right, another birdie putt, Jay Millie jumper. Can we put a total of how many times I said that today up on the screen, please? A dying flabbit. That was a sick hole, and so is this one. Ace time. 
I'm sure someone somewhere aced right then. But I gotta be honest, I'm stinking it up. I'm definitely gonna need to find some rhythm if I wanna shoot better. But I do think that so far. This course is elite. Better than every course in Texas. And I think that this next hole might be one of the best ones. This is hole six, a 406 foot tunnel shot with death on both sides. And when we initially walked up to it, we immediately thought of hole five at WR Jackson. So I'm gonna mark this hole as iconic because every course has a few iconic holes. And I think that this is one of three iconic holes at wild times. Dang it. What kind of kick was that? Oh, this got such a bad kick. And even though I took a bogey, I still think that hole six is one of the most iconic holes. I am playing very poorly. <clears throat> what the heck was that kick? This is when morale started to get low. Dude, heck you. What a horrible approach. But I did manage to save myself just a bit. Such a good throw, just way too low. And if I throw a good one here, then I can get back on track. Never mind. Shouldn't have done that. I did recover well though. I can't even see the basket. I make it? Short. We're struggling. I've been saying that all day though. <laughs> At this point, I was pretty displeased with myself. Dang it. Thanks. After nine holes, I'm two strokes off my goal with low morale and a ton of missed putts. But maybe the course can cheer me up because there are some sick holes left. This one is pretty tough though. To have a birdie look, you need two 400-ish foot drives. I threw two great ones, but I was still short. But I still played the hole great, so that's a win. And now we're at the second iconic hole, King of the Hill. This is one of the coolest holes I've ever seen. This hole has an insane elevation change. And the whole premise of it is to try to crest the hill. But if you don't, there's a point scale for how high you reach. So you can challenge your friends. Oh gosh, let's try to get it nice and high. <laughs> That scored me a three plus. Three plus? Yeah, That's right. my score, baby. Luke got 1.8. Uh-oh. And Cohen got negative. So, I was crowned the king. That didn't translate to my disc golf game. <sighs> no, that was gonna be perfect. All right, Jay Millie jumper for birdie on the signature hole. Uh. Another disappointing par. And if I'm being honest, this hole felt like filler. It was all right, but nothing special. Another par. This hole is almost as insane as that King of the Hill hole. That is gonna be filled with water come a couple weeks when it starts raining, which is crazy. Par four, the basket is all the way down there on a rock. Absolutely insane. And I almost gave this one the iconic tag, but there's still one more hole that's even better. And if I want to shoot even and set a respectable course record, then I need to turn it on. It's so good. Which is definitely what I did on those throws. For birdie. But this putt was horrid, and it felt like I was just stuck in a rut. All I need is a birdie. But I missed another part. And the rut continued. I was in my own head. But at least I was playing one of the sickest courses I've ever been on. Should be all right. And destroying some discs along the way. On this absolute crush of a par five.
At this point, I was just looking to survive. But I still had some good disc golf left in me. If I want any chance of shooting even, I need to birdie here. Ooh! First birdie of the day. J. Millie jumper. Not quite. I wasn't gonna shoot even, but there's a new goal. The final boss is to get one singular birdie, because I cannot birdie for some reason. All right, will this be the accomplishment of my goal? It will not. But now we are at our last iconic hole, the finale to this track, hole 18. A crazy downhill to uphill par four with a ton of change in elevation and a very cool gap. <laughs> All right, hole 18. We have yet again another jumper. I have to make this birdie. I'm giving it all I got. Last shot at Eagles Crossing. Done. And unfortunately, I didn't shoot even, but I did set the course record since there was no competition. But that leads us to our last goal. Eagles Crossing is currently sitting at number six in the world rankings. But where should it fall on the official J. Millie rankings? Since this is the first ranking, I'm gonna keep it simple. Everything was immaculate from start to finish. Both courses were in pristine condition and the little things were paid attention to. Eagles Crossing, 9.8 out of 10. Like and subscribe perhaps?